In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create articulated or hinged paper shadow puppets. All you need is some black poster board, some pencils, light pencil crayons are great, scissors, some wooden skewers, masking tape, a pipe cleaner, any color, a push pin, and a drawing reference or a character that you've made up. I'm going to make this anteater from my picture book, The Word for Friend. First, sketch out your character. Notice that you can make mistakes and corrections. No one will see your lines. I draw my character with a round tummy, but with no legs. I'll do the legs separately with a rounded top so that they can move beneath the body. Once my sketches are done, I then cut it out. Lastly, I cut out the little details, like the fingers. And I cut in a little smile. I use a pin to make a dot type eye. You can add any details you like. Then cut out the lower body. and decide where you want it to hinge. Use a pin first to create a hole, then push a skewer through to make the hole larger. Cut a one or two inch piece of pipe cleaner and poke it through both holes. Fold the ends against the paper, then take each side and coil the wire around into little spirals on the front and on the back. Take a piece of tape and fold it over the top of the blunt end of a wooden skewer. It's important to make sure that the tape folds over high above the end so that there's a flap of tape at the top. Then tape that flap onto the back of your puppet. Do the same again for the legs or whatever it is that you're hinging to the body. Test out your character and make sure that you can move it. I decided to make my anteater a pangolin friend using the same technique. Now you can tell your own story in your puppet theater. Have fun and thanks for watching.